Good evening. So I wanted to make a video tonight to talk about how to add MDX to your Gatsby blog. If you're not familiar with MDX, MDX essentially is a way that you can create React uh, style components and then use them inside of your Markdown. So think of it as just being a hybrid between Markdown syntax and React syntax. So for this example, one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, use kind of like a basic blog uh, as an example. So if we come over here, this is the Gatsby starter blog. And so what I've gone ahead and done is created a, uh, a Visual Studio code with, uh, with that site in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just try to create this uh, basically default uh, starter blog and convert it to use MDX. And the first thing I want to need to do is come in here and I need to install some additional plugins. And so there's some plugins that you have to use with, uh, with Gatsby in order to use MDX. And uh, these are the plugins right here, the Gatsby-plugin-MDX, the Gatsby plugin feed MDX, and the MDX-JS MDX, and the MDX-JS React. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And this is going to install uh, those four plugins here into my uh, starter blog site. So now that I've done that, uh, what I'm going to need to do is reconfigure some things here in the Gatsby config. So the Gatsby config is where you go through and you would change any plugins that you have. And so right now we have some plugins in here that are specifically uh, set up for the Gatsby Transformer Remark. And so we're going to need to change that so that it actually uses the, the new plugins that we just added. So one of those plugins is the Gatsby plugin MDX. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to swap that out. So now it's going to be using the Gatsby plugin MDX. And then under the options, uh, there's a couple of changes I need to make. One of them is I need to add in extensions, which will tell me which extensions I want it to process when I'm using MDX. And so I have a bunch of files in here that have a .md, uh, but we're going to be adding one in here for MDX so that it handles MDX files as well. And I'm going to add a third here, and that's going to be specifically for files that may have a dot markdown. Uh, because some people will use dot markdown for their file extension. And this is what, oh, one more thing here with this. Uh, I need to change this from plugins. So now it's Gatsby Remark plugins. And now take care of our Gatsby plugin MDX. And then there's one other change we have to make in here, and this is to this uh, Gatsby plugin feed. We want to use the uh, MDX version of this. So I'm just going to say dash MDX. And that fixes our Gatsby config. Now we've done that, we need to update our Node API. And the way that we do that is we come right over here. And in the Node API, uh, we need to basically find any place where there's references to the all markdown remark and change that so that it's using MDX instead. So I'm just going to come over here and change this so that it's MDX. And so now this will do GraphQL query to all MDX instead of all markdown remark. And once I've done that, since I've changed that, I need to change the result here so that it uses MDX as well. And the one last thing I need to change here is under the onCreateNode, if I have any uh, types that are being checked against the markdown remark, that needs to change to an MDX as well. And that's essentially all the changes you need to make to the, uh, to the Node API or the Gatsby-Node.js file. Now that I've done that, I can actually start making changes to my, my content files. And so one of the content files is, in this starter site, is if you go under Source, Pages, there's an index. And we need to change that index so that it's querying from uh, MDX instead of all markdown remarks. So I'm going to change that so that it's now querying from MDX instead. And uh, I need to come over here to the posts, and in the post, it has this reference here to all markdown remark. I'm going to change that to MDX as well. So that should take care of my posts. And that's all I need to do in this file. 
So the next thing to do is go to the template. So the template essentially is what's going to create all the individual pages for all the different blog posts. And there's about four things we need to do in here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to use the MDX renderer uh, that we're going to be using for rendering out the MDX. So if I come over here, I can say import MDX rendering. You can see we have autocomplete Visual Studio Code, very nice, that knows that this is coming from the Gatsby plugin.mdx. So now that I've made that change. Uh, there's a couple other changes I need to make in here. Uh, one of the changes I need to make in here is that any place where there's a post, you can see here it's uh, it's pulling markdown remark. That needs to be mdx. And then under my GraphQL, I need to make changes to the GraphQL uh, to reflect that as well, because we're not going to be pulling back individual markdown remark. We're going to be pulling back MDX. So this is going to be an MDX. The previous node will be, uh, or the previous query will be MDX. This is also going to be an MDX. And the one last thing I need to change in here is uh, with the MDX uh, type in GraphQL, it returns back body instead of HTML. So I'm just going to put in body here. And then under the actual render function, we can see we have this section here which tries to render out this uh, dangerously set uh, inner HTML to the post.html. So we are going to change that so that it uses the MDX renderer. And now that we've got the MDX renderer in there, uh, I just need to change it so that it, it's going to the post.body. And that is essentially all you have to do to reconfigure or to configure uh, uh, MDX instead of uh, Markdown Remark uh, to render out your, your Markdown and your MDX. So now that I've done that, I'm going to come over here to my NPM scripts and I'm going to try doing a develop so we can see if it uh, still is able to render it, if, make sure I didn't make any mistakes here. And so far that's looking good. And it's building the, building the development bundle. And let's come over here. And I want to try localhost 8000. And there, sure enough, it is rendering and displaying all this stuff. So all these uh, posts are working. So. Uh, one of the examples they have in this uh, uh, blog post that I based this, uh, based this on was that they had this uh, example MDX file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here into my terminal. I'm going to kill the terminal here. And if I do an ls inside of my project folder here, I'm going to go into the content. All right, do ls, and we can see there's a blog in there, so we'll cd into the blog. Let's do an ls in here, and we can see that we've got these folders which all represent different blog posts. So I'm going to create a new blog post here called example. I'm just going to do that by coming over here and doing make dir, and we'll call this example. And we'll cd into that example. And there's nothing in there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new markdown file. I'm just going to call this index.mdx. So now if I come over here into my content, we can see that I've got this example here. I've got this mdx. And what I want to do is I want to actually paste some mdx in here. So I'm going to paste this in here. And we can see we have this mdx file here. And if I come over here and I save this, come back into the browser. Uh, let's see if that's, oh, you know what? I need to turn my development server on. So we'll let that uh, build this out.
And let's see if that finished up. And voila, we've got this uh, MDX in here. Now, what's interesting about this, they just, in this example, they just used a button here. But what I want to do is I actually want to actually create a component that might actually be useful. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill that development server again. Let's just kill that. And let's go back out to the root. And let's CD into the source, CD into the components. And we can see we have a, we have a couple of different components in there. I want to create a component for displaying a YouTube video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to say touch. YouTube.js. So now if I come over here into my components, we can see we have this uh, YouTube in here. And I'm just going to cut and paste some code to make this go a little bit faster. So here's our YouTube component. So now that I've got that YouTube component in here, uh, we can see here that it takes a prop that's looking for an attribute called YID. That's going to be my YouTube ID. And I happen to have a YouTube video that I recorded earlier. And I'm going to add this in here. So the way we can do that is I can come right over here. I can say import YouTube. And I misspelled that. And I believe the way that we can import the sentence, we can say source components YouTube. I think that's all I have to do. Now I want to replace this button here. And let's go ahead and oops, spell that. And I'm going to set an attribute here of yid equal to, and I'm just going to cut, cut out this uh, id in here and paste that in here. Okay, so now that I've made that change, let's see if that actually worked. So I'm going to come over here and I want to set up the development server. And if I used the wrong reference or something like that, I should get an error here. So here's what I actually got wrong here. If we actually look here at the import that I'm doing here, I need to make sure that I'm going to the root of my Gatsby project folder. So I just put a slash here in front of the source. And now that I've done that, I should be able to come back here. I've got my MDX uh, blog post in here. And then voila, I've got a YouTube video now embedded inside of the, uh, inside of the Gatsby site. So hopefully it gives you an idea of uh, how easy it is to take an existing Gatsby site that's maybe using Markdown or Mark and convert it so that it's using MDX. Uh, if you like content like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. If you don't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you do that, that helps with the YouTube algorithm and that uh, will help with the channel and I'll be able to do more videos like this. So with that, have a happy 4th of July.